The previous video defined vectors as I will use them in this course. This video goes through the operations that I will need for vectors. Again, some of this may be familiar to many of you, but I do hope the review is helpful. In the linear algebra course, I was careful to define all these operations in Rn in full generality in any dimension. In this course, where only R2 and R3 are really required, I'll do the definitions more explicitly in these dimensions. Often I'll give the definition just in R3 and leave the R2 case implicit, but hopefully understood. Vectors can be added together component-wise. That is, the first entries are added together, the second entries are added together, and the third entries are added together. On the screen, I've done an example in R2 and given the general case in R3. Visually, adding vectors means putting one vector at the end of the other and seeing where the second vector points, using the second vector as a local direction vector, essentially. You can see in the diagram that the order of addition for these two vectors doesn't matter. The result is 4, 4 either way. That is true in general, though, of course, this diagram is only a demonstration of that, not a full proof. Vectors can be multiplied by scalars by multiplying each entry in the vector by the same scalar. Here is an example in R2 and, again, the general formula in R3. The scalar A is multiplied by each entry U1, U2, and U3. This operation is called scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication explains the terms scalar since it scales the vector. To multiply by 2 is to double the length of the vector. To multiply by a quarter is to shrink the length to one quarter of the original. Multiplication by a negative reverses the direction. Multiplication by negative 1 is a direct reverse, and multiplication by negative 2 reverses the direction and doubles the length. With scalar multiplication and addition, vector subtraction can be defined as the addition of a vector with the second one multiplied by negative 1. The result of this definition is the expected subtraction. To subtract two vectors is just to do all the subtractions entry by entry. The length of a vector in R3 is the square root of the sum of the squares of its coordinates. A couple of example calculations are given here. This is essentially Pythagoras in R3, and if I drop the third component, this is exactly the Pythagorean theorem in R2. You could draw the right triangle out if you wished. This length is also called norm, and a vector of length 1 or norm 1 is called a unit vector. The zero vector, the origin, the vector 0, 0, 0, is the only vector of length 0. In some cases, it is annoying to work with the square root. In many of these cases, I can just deal with the square of length instead. This is a pretty common calculation trick in geometry. The distance between two vectors is the length of their difference. For example, in the diagram, the distance between the vectors 1, 4 and 4, 2 is square root 13 units of distance. This is calculating by subtracting the vectors, taking the square of the terms of the subtraction, adding those together, and then taking the square root of all of that. Visually, the difference is a local direction vector that goes from one end of the vector to the end of the other. You can see, at least for these example vectors in the diagram, how this measures the distance between two points. 